Arkansas's governor and education secretary hosted a Learns Town Hall in Siloam Springs today. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight at 9. I'm Anna Darling. The act is currently on hold because of a temporary restraining order. Fox 24's Alex Engel was at the town hall today and explains what was discussed. So my question is taking questions because each of those students are different and giving answers on the Arkansas Learns Act. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Education Secretary Jacob Oliva hosted a Learns Town Hall in Siloam Springs on Monday. Attendees had to RSVP for the event and were approved by the governor's office. This Learns Act is huge. It affects all of education and I just wanted to hear it from the governor and from uh, Secretary Oliva, uh, I just wanted to hear it from their own mouths. Cindy Stennett has been a teacher for more than two decades. During the town hall, she talked about kids missing a lot of school and asked how the state can emphasize the importance of being in class for parents and students. So let's raise the bar and ask them to meet it. We've got to stop expecting and focusing on the lowest common denominator and start raising the bar and raising expectations of both our students and our parents. Other questions touched on literacy coaches, the dual degree program, which would train students for the workforce and school choice known as educational freedom accounts. Senate says she thinks some parts of learns will be beneficial for students, but says she still has some concerns. I want to know that the funding is going to be there because if we're talking social workers, more counselors, mental health professionals, which are needed, Where's the money going to come from? Both Governor Sanders and Secretary Oliva touted the educational reform here at John Brown University, despite the Learns Act being on pause right now because of a temporary restraining order. Learns is going to go into effect. We are simply delaying the inevitable. Springdale Superintendent Dr. Jared Cleveland says he's ready to see the court take action on the pending lawsuit so they can start implementing the Learns Act. Springdale schools with local tax money and student foundation funding that comes from the state, However many students we receive is how we're going to be paid. And when I say paid, it funded. That's what I'm worried about, making sure that those funding uh, systems continue to come in and on time. A hearing for the lawsuit is set for June 20th. Reporting in Siloam Springs, Alex Engel, Fox 24 News.